Hello and welcome, this is Fiddy from That'sAllGames.com. Today I'll be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield Rank Battles in the VGC format. If you are looking for other game related content, there is also That'sAllGames.com. For news, reviews, and other articles, link in the description. I am working on starter runs in, Poke in all my Pokemon games, so I'll be writing articles based on the stats I get from that. That being said, let's get started with our battles for the day. So. Here we are, we're using this team. This may be the last time I use this team before the uh, rankings roll over. So, be, look, I should be making a new team by the time the next time I uh, play. play. Alright. We have another player. First game. Okay. Looks like it could be partially hard trick room. Could be Venusaur with Chlorophyll. Well, I have a Venusaur with Chlorophyll, too. Um, there's a Conkler and a Rhyperior too. Hmm, how do I want to lead this? I'm thinking leading Lapras. Hmm. I don't expect them to come right out with a Grass Attack. Uh, well, let's see. Clefairy might be able to help, though. Hmm. Would that have been better? So, speed is going to be an issue here, namely my lack of speed, he my noticeable extra speed. I think my own Venusaur is pretty good. Hmm. Now do I want Duraludon, Incineroar, or Simeon? Simeon so-so could knock off. Hmm. Duraludon looks kind of vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So does Incineroar. Let's bring Pissimian and see how this goes. Anyway, if you like these my content, be sure to subscribe and give it a like. It's helpful for me to know how these ga how my videos are doing. But with that being said, let's see how this first game goes. I'm almost expecting something like in Trick Room to be leading here. Desclops Rhyperior. Okay, so he could even be bulldozing. Hmm. Okay, so you know about that. Hmm. Do I really want to redirect? I'm going to Max Geyser. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna life do actually. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, right here your switch is out. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Wasn't expecting a switch here. Yeah, I probably could have magically leafed the Lapras at this point, then. It wouldn't have gone off first, but it still would have done some damage. Oh, wow. That did a good amount to Kunk Elder. Well, that was pointless. Yeah, there's the trick room. Uh, so do I want to redirect moves from here? Where do I want to... Well, I definitely want to attack Conkelder. question is, do I want to redirect? Uh, Conkelder could do a lot of damage. Hmm. You know, let's let life do again. Uh, that could be a problem. Hmm. Maybe redirecting would have made more sense. And there's my weakness policy, which was the main reason I didn't follow me here.
wonder how much this a plus two max resonance will do to dust clops. Hmm. Not nearly enough. Let's see. So now I'm gonna max geyser. Gonna tr now I'm definitely gonna follow me here. Uh, I wonder if I care that Dusclops could ally switch again. Ooh, can kill their protect. Guess that was a little obvious then. But what does Dusclops do here? Ah, Nightshade. Hmm. Oh wow, that almost took out Gunkelder. Yeah, and the bird didn't quite take it out yet either. That's a bit too bad. Let's see, how many trick rooms do they have left? They still have two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to freeze dry that and follow me again. Well, yeah, it's probably going to Drain Punch or Mock Punch. And the Dust Clops, it's going to either Nightshade or Ally Switch. Hmm. Unless something's switching out. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ooh, Rock Slide, that's clever. I could even flinch here, and that would be awful. But I don't. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Rhyperior comes back in. It might even Dynamax. Yeah. Probably gonna Dynamax. I've got two Aurora Veils left. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to Hydro Pump it. Alright, well, following me with Clefairy might be my best bet. I don't ex. Ooh, no, this is bad actually. He's probably getting a double KO here. Because the Rhyperior should be attacking the Fairy, and then the Dusclops is going to be Nightshading. Still, Follow Me would have to be the play I go for, in case that doesn't happen. Oh, like Bulldoze, which activates my opponent's weakness policy, which is a problem. Wow, that was a critical hit, and it didn't take it out. Hmm. Ooh, Max Rockfall. Okay. Yeah, that's taking out Clefairy. Now I have to count on Hydro Pump hitting. Ooh, and it gets considerably weak thanks to the Sandstorm. But that just takes out right here. Nice. I'll take it. And is Lapras going down? No. Alright. Hmm. Do I want Venusaur or Pissimian? Uh, I'm thinking Pissimian. Hatterene. Interesting. Trick Room War Off, right? Yeah. So, I'm gonna freeze dry the Hatterene. Oh no, he could just. Yeah, let's freeze dry it anyway. And knock off the Dust Clops. I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, Hatterene's a problem.
problem though. Because I'm thinking there could be a protect followed by a trick room. Ally switch. Maybe it's ally switch trick room? That was a sizable. Oh, got rid of life orb, so it won't be doing as much damage. Hmm. Still, that's not great. Because now there's a trick room up. Uh, I expect it to be using. Hmm. Dazzling Gleam here. And now that Aurora Veil's gone. That's no good. So I'm gonna. Hmm. Gonna try to freeze dry. I think the Simeon could take it though. And I need the damage. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam, go figure. Phew! Yeah, if that had knocked out, that would have been pretty awful. Alright, won that first game. Should I be in Ultra Ball tier now? Alright, feel pretty good about that. And yeah, I don't really want to check the team. But let's keep on going on to game number two. That was pretty exciting, I'll give it that. And now that I'm in Ultra Ball tier, these battles should be a little more. Entertaining, let's say. It'll definitely be closer to the high skill levels that, you, that my audience mo no, no, no doubt wants to see. So, okay, we've got another player. Okay, the Colossal makes me think that there is a weakness policy strategy here. Um... Incineroar might be a pretty good lead. Hmm. Would I rather Clefairy or would I rather Incineroar? I think I should definitely bring Incineroar for the Ferrothorn. Uh, I want to say Venusaur might be a decent pick too. I don't think he's going to lead with Ferrothorn. I think it might be something like Blastoise. Yeah, let's lead with Incineroar. And let's see, what else do I want? I do want Venusaur here. Uh, ooh, Pissimian. Ooh, Pissimian Rex does pretty good. So, well, Dora Ludin, so, so. I think Pissimian. And... Okay. Let's... Bring this out and see if I can win my Ultra Ball tier match. Hmm. So let's see, what do you got? Excadrill and Togekiss. Okay, something's Dynamaxing here for sure. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it would be the Excadrill. Hmm. So... I'm gonna resonance you and fake out the Excadrill. I don't know how I feel about this though. The Excadrill, I wouldn't even be surprised if it switches out. If it Dynamaxes, I'm kind of happy. Though maybe I should have uh, faked out the Togekiss instead. Hmm. Yeah. Go figure. Oh, Raichu. Well, if it's Focus Sash or has uh, Air Balloon, that would actually be pretty good. It doesn't have Air Balloon from the looks of it, though. Alright, we've got G-Max Lapras. Alrighty, what are we going to do here? Mm. 
Huh. The Togekiss didn't Dynamax. Uh, but it wants to follow me here. Hmm. Let's see if it's weakness policy. Ah, uh, it does take that. Now I've got my uh, resonance in the Aurora Veil effect up. Hmm, do I want to switch Incineroar out? Hmm. Oh, wow. Actually, I don't think I want a Max Lightning. I want a Max Geyser here. Maybe I... Parting Shot? Right, you use Light Screen. That's interesting. Ooh, Air Slash missed. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely got a little lucky there. Well, I get the first knockout of the game, but at what cost? My parting shot here. We can ride you. Let's bring in Venusaur. And that should do some good. That should be interesting. Let's see, what would my opponent bring out? I don't think it would be Excadrill, but it could be. Ah, Ferrothorn. Well, I can't put that to sleep. Hmm. I'm thinking about Resonance in that, and... Bringing back Incineroar? So if that's a physical Raichu, it's not going to be doing a whole lot. Of course, I only saw it use light screen so far. Raichu used Nuzzle. Huh. I wonder why I went for Ferrothorn. It could take that pretty easily. Ooh, it knocks off my weakness policy. Smart. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Hydro Pump the Raichu. I'm actually gonna Flare Blitz the Ferrothorn here. Yeah, that was smart, but... Let's see how the rest of this plays out. Ah, it does have Brick Break. Well, here's my Hydro Pump in the rain, but with the light screen up. Yeah, that's not knocking out. And here's Flare Blitz. That decimates Ferrothorn. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, we know that there's just Excadrill left in the back. How am I going to play around this? Do I want to switch out Incineroar? Yeah, I do have to go for the Hydro Pump. Um, hmm. become fast. Let's bring Venusaur in. Yeah, that Raichu does have a lot of stat drops. Dynamax Excadrill? Sure. That could be a big problem. It's probably going for Max Rockfall. I didn't see it have a uh, Old Breaker, so it's gonna get a speed or attack bonus. Hmm. Okay. 
I kind of don't mind being paralyzed. There's Max Rockfall, of course. Just barely take that, though. Hmm. Oh, you take that a little too well. Alright, I'm gonna let Lap... Hmm. Do I even protect here? <laughs> no, you're probably going after Venusaur. So I'm gonna Hydropomp. And Sleep Powder? Ooh, Max Steel Spike. Ooh, wasn't counting on that one shotting. Oh. That might have mattered. Hmm. Ooh, and I'm getting knocked out by a nuzzle. How can I play this out? Oh wait, the Raichu's just gonna faint a sandstorm, right? Yeah. Alright, don't have much choice but to bring out the Simeon and Incineroar. Yeah, the Intimidate should help. Let's see... Aha, uh -huh, that was a Light Clay, uh... Uh, Raichu. Now, yeah, let's see... I'm just gonna Flare Blitz it, and... Close combat. It can only take out one of us, but it's probably going after Simeon. But if that were the case, it probably should have maxed Steel Spiked. Hmm. Let's see, how much does close combat do here? Oh, good. You just get the knockout. Phew! Man, these have been some tough matches. Glad I won that, but still, these have been reasonably tough. Okay. Let's get one more game in here. It's not quite a half hour. Get a decent amount of points. Probably not making Master World here this season, but... Oh well, I haven't been playing that much. Alright, let's see what kind of team. A Halucha, a Cloyster, a Raichu, Togekiss, Delmise, and Excavalier? Oh, this is one weird comp. I'm gonna... Hold on. Lead Lapras and Incineroar. Do I need to lead Incineroar? I see quite a few physical attackers, so maybe... Um, who else do I want to bring here? Persimian So-So. Clefairy might actually be the better lead. But with Incineroar in the back. Okay, and would Duraludon be good? It's okay. Would Venusaur be good? Venusaur is... No, nah, it's not going to do enough. Pissimian. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that either. So I think Duraludon might be a better play here. Okay. Uh, hmm. I suspect the Halucha has a seed of some sort. So that I can activate on Burden. Probably doesn't need it here. This is definitely an interesting looking team, so we'll see how it fights. Ooh, Oyster Halucha. Hmm. 
Now what could happen here? Luch is definitely going to try to attack Lapras. And... Hmm. I wonder if the Cloister is going to... Hmm, I just... Actually, I'm gonna magical leaf the cloister, but just in case it has focus sash and shell smash. Okay. So this tells me nothing's dynamaxing, unless cloister is the one that dynamaxes here. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, oh, that is Ice Shard, Weakness Policy, Halucha. Ooh, that would be a problem if it hits. With close combat. Oh, but I take that. Hmm. Time for my Weakness Policy. Huh. That's definitely an interesting setup. Maybe if I follow me, that would have worked out a little better. But, uh, hey, I still got my weakness policy up. In time for a magical leaf. That does way more than I was expecting. It's a Clefairy for crying out loud. <laughs> Alright. Right, you, eh? Yeah, Max Geysering the Raichu. Gonna see if I can follow me here. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Is it that Rock Blast? Oh, that barely did anything. Alright, this is gonna take a little while. I mean, each hit was pretty weak, but... Alright, here we go, Max Geyser. Did that take it down to Focus Sash? Yeah. Alright, got a Max Geyser here, and follow me for sure. I can't let any uh, huge hits come my way. Hmm. So I'm expecting something like a Nuzzle or a Volt Tackle from Raichu. Maybe a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch? Ooh, did he have anything that could absorb uh, Max Geyser? Ooh, Dynamax Cloister, I think. The Raichu wouldn't be of much use here. No, oh, it is the Raichu. Huh. Weird. I think this is the first I've seen anyone use a Dynamax Raichu. Hmm. Huh. But it max guarded, of all things. Ah, Icicle Spear. That's not really doing a whole lot either. Four, five, okay. Alright. Let's freeze dry that and follow me again. Hmm. That right you with the whopping two HP. Come on. Okay. So mm -hmm. 
Yep, there's the Max Lightning. Yep, Clefairy can take that. Now, let's see, what am I gonna do here? Ah, it Rock Blasts. Nope, it should have Icicle Speared. And Freeze Dry finishes off the Dynamax Raichu. Alright. Let's see what else you've got. I got rid of a Halucha, I got rid of the Raichu. Oh, hi Togekiss. Who's the... Mm, it probably has Dazzling Gleam. Let's see what I have in the back. Incineroar and Duraludin. Eh. Well, that might still do. Alright, I'm gonna try to freeze dry. Would follow me be a better play? Just in case. But I'm expecting a double knockout on my end. Nice shard. Ooh. Nice. Oh. That's definitely knocking us both out. Oh no, wait. Lapras stays up. Man, Aurora Veil is such a nice thing to be able to get off. Alright. My Aurora Veil's out. But I think Incineroar's Fake Out should help out a lot here. As well as it's Intimidate. Alright, let's Thunderbolt and Fake Out. Hmm. Yeah, my opponent forfeits. I'll take it, and that's three wins of today, which I'm pretty happy about. And that should wrap up a good chunk of today's episode. Don't want to really check the team. But before we go, let's check how my rank changed. So this was a lot of fun. This was some intense matches for sure, but that's what makes things interesting. Um, ooh, good. I got into Master Ball tier. Perfect. Alright, I just made it in time. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Again, you can find additional content and articles on thatsallgames.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you again in another video. Until next time, have fun gaming. Goodbye.